Welcome cuties, let's create! I'm going to be doing friendship bracelets today and I want to teach you how to read a pattern. I first want to apologize for the coloring in the first few minutes because I want to start filming out my desk and I'm still trying to work out the lighting. The first step is getting your color of string and measuring it out. I pinch one end and stretch it to the length of my arm, bring it to my other shoulder and cut it. The length seems really long, but it shrinks up a lot because we're tying a bunch of knots. You need to make sure you have the correct amount of string in each color. Once they are cut, grab them and tie a giant knot on one end of the strings. You don't have to do this part, but I wanted a clean edge, so I got my thread scissors and trimmed the ends so they were all even. This is what a pattern looks like. I normally just Google friendship bracelet patterns and a plethora of images pop up. This is from bracelet.book.com. I printed it out and colored in the circle like it has online so I don't get confused. You can put it in a sheet protector so you can use an expo marker and mark the ones that you have already done. You want to tape down your string so it stays in place. Don't get discouraged in the beginning because the hardest part, in my opinion, is right by the knot. At the top of the pattern, it shows what color strings are in what order. Then this one specifically is blue, orange, white, white, orange, blue, blue, white, white, orange, blue. Go through and separate as best as you can the color strings in the correct order.
Once that is done, you can start making the bracelet. An arrow going left to right is a forwards knot. An arrow going right to left is a backwards knot. An arrow that starts going from left to right, but back to left is a forwards backwards knot, meaning you'll do two knots on one string. Then vice versa for the arrow that goes right, left, and back to right. The first one I'm going to knot together is this blue and orange string together in a forwards knot. I have my blue and orange, and I'm going to have the blue string go over the top of the orange string. How I remember if it's a forwards or backwards is I make the number four. A forwards knot looks like a, no a normal four. In the pattern, it shows that the knot will be from a blue string. The blue string goes over the orange. The string goes under and through the loop. Tighten the string and the first knot is done. Because of the knot, the two strings have switched places. The next one is tying together the two white ones. I take the first white string, bring it over the second, making a four, and do the same thing we did in the previous strings, creating another forwards knot. The next knot is orange over blue and do the same thing for a forward knot. Make sure you are switching the strings after you knot them tight. The backwards knot is similar to a forwards knot. On the pattern, it shows we are making an orange knot. I have my orange string go over my blue string and I make a backwards four. Bring the string through the loop and tie it tight. How I also remember if it's forwards or backwards is just looking at the arrows and if the arrow is pointing in a direction that I read, left to right, then it's forwards. If the arrow is going from right to left, then it's backwards because I would re be reading backwards on a page. I cross off all the knots that I have done and go on to the next line. If you notice, the orange string doesn't have anything done to it, so we're tying the blue and white string together. It shows I will be doing a forward knot, I make a four, bring it through the loop, tie it tight. 
then the blue and white strings have switched places. It can be quite confusing and I did mess up a couple of spots. I was going through and following the pattern perfectly, but when I looked at it, it looked horrible. So I thought about using a seam picker and undoing all the knots and starting over, but I turned over the bracelet and it actually looks super cool. I was really impressed and like always, I loved how it turned out. Once you go through the whole pattern of doing your knots and you have crossed them all off, you just wipe off your sheet protector and start over doing it again until you have the desired length in the bracelet. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.